Hello everyone, this is Sinach and I want to specially welcome you to this time. I'm going to be talking to an amazing, amazing artist, a music minister, amazing worship leader, uh, Miranda Cordes today, so you have to stay tuned. But first of all, I want to thank you so much for all of you who have been streaming the, uh, my singles, my singles and have pre-ordered the album. And thank you so much for your encouraging words. You, some of you have sent a lot of uh, emails and some of you have commented on our YouTube channels. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I want you also to make sure that you turn on your notification so that you get a notification whenever we upload a video. And please hit the subscription button. Make sure you subscribe and then you'll know when we have a new video. So join me and let's make welcome my sister, my friend, Miranda Cordes, as we take you through her journey. And uh, we talk about her coming on my album in the song titled Prevail. Enjoy. Stay tuned. My goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love, I love you. you. I, I love, love you. you. I'm, I'm almost crying. Like, my is on. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, though we are so far away from, I, 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 I feel that we, we've known each other for a long time. Like I feel as if I've known you for a long time, you know? Yeah. I am so, so excited seeing you today. I am so, so excited. And uh, um, the connection that I have with you can only be God. It can only be God because Yes. Um, the first time that I saw you, I saw you on TD Jake's uh, platform and you, you were singing and I was like, what, who is this? And my friends asked me, have you, have you seen her? Have you seen her? She's even singing Waymaker. So before even every, anybody, I heard anybody sing Waymaker. I heard you singing Waymaker, you know, and I was, I was, oh. I was blown away. I was blown away and since then i followed where you were singing um your songs all the time i follow your your tours i follow your tours and i've seen god promoting you in different ways and i'm like wow this can only be god when you yield your your gift to god you see him multiply it in such a huge way and it becomes so from Africa, I want to say we love you so much. We love you. Oh, we love you. I don't know. Have, have you ever been to Africa before? I've only been to South Africa. Yeah, you got to come to Nigeria. South Africa is great, but you got to come to Nigeria. We need to welcome you. I have you. to. We need to welcome you. And I'm so glad, everyone. I know that people are going to jump on this and uh, I want to say thank you for what you do for the Lord. Thank oh, you. Yeah. You know, um, many people don't know what we do behind the scene, a lot of work, even in season and out of season, you know, the way we, we labor, we work so hard and um, I've, I've seen you, you know, when your mom passed, yes. when, you, 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 you had a, a health issue and all that, but you still pressed on. You had faith. I see you exercise your faith. I've seen you. I mean, it's great, a great inspiration. That's who you are. And I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you. Thank you so much. Glory thank to you. God. And um, wow. <laughs> 
tell me, tell me what, what has it been like? What has it been like? <laughs> what has it been like? What has it been like? I'm you know? just, I'm taking all of this in because I, I honor you. I, I bless the Lord for you. I, um, I'm such a fan of your pen. I love how you write songs to the Lord. And I said to myself, I said, you know, she is an inspiration. And if I ever got a chance to meet her or speak to her, that I would share that with her. And so now we're here and I'm able to look. And I just want to say from my heart to yours, I bless God for your journey as well. And I bless God for your contribution to worship and, and being a beacon of light for us as well. I appreciate and I embrace what God has done. I'm honored to <laughs> have been asked to, to, to be a part of this Zoom call and to be a part of um, your up and coming album. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm so excited. Not a song, about, by the way. You know? Oh. <laughs> so excited about it. And I was like, I am. This is amazing. It this is. This is awesome. Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm. It's amazing. It's amazing. Hallelujah. Praise God. I, I was, um, I was listening back to the song, you know, you know, the first thing, you, the first thing you told me was that, was that um, you said the song, the writing is beautiful. The words are so beautiful. You know, we, we were, we are singing about prevail, prevail. And um, the song came to me when all this was coming. Everything was coming. It, it, actually, I wrote it a little bit just before the pandemic came. You know, wow. all, yeah, all the um, everything happening and uh, people getting so confused and all that. And it was just a little bit before that. I didn't even know what was coming. And um, the Lord just dropped the song in my heart. And here we are. Uh, we're singing, we have prevailed. We have prevailed. Ooh. The Bible talks about we, we prevail with the blood of the land and with the testimony of our mouth, of our lips. Yes. And that's what it is. And that's what it is. And um, uh, well, tell me, what, 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 when you got the song, what was your thought? What was your thought? I just want to know. I, I said that this song is so timely. This song reflects the times that we're in. And I said, wow, this song right here is giving me hope. There's a pandemic in the world and so many people, even some believers have lost hope and has um, lost the will to press mm -hmm. and, and many have given up. Mm -hmm. And I said, once people hear this, I believe they will be compelled to, to prevail and press through these times. And I said, how timely is this? This song right. speaks life. It's filled with life and hope and you an hope. expected end. Yes. And I'll call yes. to a call to rise as believers and take our place because our place is as a light to the world. You know, yes. it's, you're the hope that holds me. It talks about who God is and what yes. he has done. A stronghold to shelter, my confident assurance. Confident assurance. The only God for me, you know. Me. Uh, yeah, you know, it talks about who the Lord is. You know, the Bible talks about the greater is he that is in us than yes. he that is in the world. The he that is in the world could be any name, anything that is in the world, you know. Yes. I hear stories of depression. I hear stories of so much fear. And yes. I hear people just giving up because they cannot see the end of the road. They cannot see it. Because when the look is total darkness, the news mm -hmm. is full of dark. Uh, the news is dark. 
the, the report is just dark. And um, this song is good news. This song is good, good news. news. And it says there's a shout of victory. In your home, shout it. In your city, <sighs> shout it. In your nation, shout it. There's a shout of shout victory. It. You know, and yes. when you just lifted your voice and shouted, oh, it was like, oh, my goodness, that is indeed a shout of victory. Mm. I was excited. I was really excited. Victory. I was victory. Excited. So I oh. applied that song to my life as well. Yes, I do. I do. I applied I, that I, song to my life as well. Yeah. 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 I, I, I want you to talk about uh, your journey. Your journey this uh, between 2000, I've been, I've been watching your journey during this 2000 and uh, um, 2000 and 2021. I mean, I've just watched you. It's been an incredible, many awards and all that. You want to talk about it? You want to talk about it and what the Lord, um, oh. how the Lord has, uh, helped you in this journey? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I remember saying to God that, you know, I, I, I want to please you. I want to please you. I'm shy by nature. And when the Lord called me forward, I was like, you have a sense of humor because <laughs> I'm shy. You know, I'm like, whoa, all the, 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 the platforms and the stages and the people, it's like, I am scared right now <laughs> and 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 it, it was nothing that I pursued on my own it was an act of obedience it was an act of obedience the entire time and I I released my very first um, 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 debut album in 2017 out of obedience and you know People took it and they're still blessed by it today. I just, I am always in pursuit mm -hmm. of, of what God is saying and, and what heaven is saying. And mm -hmm. I, I always want that time to reflect the music mm -hmm. that's released. And I must say that it's been an amazing journey in God. It really has been an amazing journey. I've watched God open doors. I've watched people be healed. I've watched, I've seen miracle signs and wonders. I've Amen. seen it manifest. And for that, I have to keep going. And God has, uh, I won my very first uh, Dove Award uh, last year. It was, oh, it was, it was amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> it, it, it was, it was amazing. <sighs> To, to, to experience and you know I do what I do because I, I love him and I'm in pursuit I I enjoy seeing people get blessed I, I enjoy seeing people be healed I enjoy seeing God do what God does period it's, it's incredible it's incredible and, he's incredible uh, it's incredible um, what, what would you say has been your biggest, biggest, uh, lesson, the biggest lesson that you want to, you want to tell people, because, um, sometimes I always tell people that is better. Why do we have mentors? We have mentors so that they can let us know that we don't make the mistakes that they've made. We can learn from them. And so we avoid the mistakes they've made and then learn the beautiful thing about the journey also from them. Oh, my goodness. I have several mentors, not too many, but several that hold me accountable. They hold me accountable. Um, and God has blessed me to be that to some people as well. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that throughout this to always remain teachable. Because we're always evolving. We're always evolving. So I've learned in this to always remain teachable. And even, you know, um, there have been times when I've errored and I love the way my mentors will rear me back in. 
and bring me back in and and mentor me from a place of love and correct me from a place of love so I won't mm. make the mistakes that they did. Always remain teachable. We don't always know everything. Mm -hmm. Wise counsel is necessary. Mm -hmm. It's so necessary for the journey. So I've learned that, you know, when I don't know, I'll seek wise counsel. <laughs> have the, I don't, when I, there's just some things I don't know, you know, it's like, okay, can I say, can I confide in you? Can I, okay. So will you pray with me about something because uh -huh. I don't want, you know, the, it, it's a real place because we don't know everything. Yeah. <laughs> we don't yeah. know everything. So to have wise counsel is absolutely positively absolutely. necessary for the journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, um, it, 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 that's really true. That's really true because um, there's a lot of people running around just walking blindly, walking blindly. Sometimes it's not, you can't say anything to them at all. You can't say anything. Uh, but uh, uh, with wise cancel, you can avoid a lot of mistakes. You yes. know, you can, you can. You can actually you can. avoid a lot of mistakes. So, um uh, you know, like um, we are talking about prevailing in every circumstances and um, mm -hmm. um, the song prevail. Let's go back to the song again. The song prevail. Yes. Um, yes. What would you say to someone that is listening to it? What would you say? Someone that is listening to the song, the mm -hmm. person want a song of encouragement, a song that would take them to the next level. What would you say to the person? I would say to that person, especially if they're in a low place in life, if they're in a low place in life, that you wrote a part in the song that got to me and it says, confident assurance. That line that phrase blew me away. And so I would tell them that you can be confident in him. You can be confident in him. It's the one. God is the one that won't fail you. Mm -hmm. God is the one that won't. And the, the, even in your weakness, mm -hmm. his strength is made perfect. That's right. And so right. even in your weakness, his strength is made perfect. Mm -hmm. And so you can rest assured that mm -hmm. he's a safe place, that mm -hmm. God is a safe place. Mm -hmm. And he's the light. He should be your focus. And in mm -hmm. that you will, and you're able, you will be able to come out of anything that you're facing. Prevail. That means that you can outlive anything that try to weigh you down. That's and right. When you prevail, you can, you, you can, it, it can, it's more powerful than mm -hmm. what you face when you mm -hmm. choose to prevail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, uh, the name of Jesus, the Bible said, has been named upon us. You know, every one of us has the name of Jesus named upon us the day we got born again. And um, him living inside of us through the Holy Spirit ensures that we can never be swallowed up by any circumstances. You know, mm. We can never be defeated. We never. are victorious. We are victorious. Yes, we are. And, and there's uh, always something I always say. I say it will always end in praise. Hallelujah. It end in praise. It will always end in praise. That whatever circumstances uh, you're going through or you are in or whatever it is, that constantly there's a power of God upon your life to cause you. Mm -hmm. To live from the mountain top with the word of God. And that's oh. what it is. That's what it is. Tell me a little bit of how you started with music. I know a lot of people would like to know, how did you start with music? Oh, my goodness. I came from a musical home. Mm. Uh, my mother was a singer. Oh, wow. My, my dad is a singer. Mm. And we sang. My entire family on both sides are singers and preachers. And... Oh, wow. <laughs> And so, um, <laughs> and, and, uh, it was just that thing where, when I got of age, my mom said, okay, join the choir. We got to join the choir. And so I started singing in the choir and then traveling with, uh, 
a band and um, it started that way because of my love for music. I never thought about going solo, you know, for myself. I got encouraged to do that. I said, I'll try it out. And what happened was um, I met one of my all time favorite singers here in the U.S., uh, Pastor John P. Key. And um, I got his attention. And then after that, he was like, hey, a few years later, I want you to be my worship. I was like, OK. And I moved and began to lead worship at his church and travel with him. And he exposed me to that professional life as well. And I would travel with him, tour with him, record with him. And that's how I got started with doing this because he actually pushed me out there uh mm-hmm. to do that yeah destiny helpers everywhere yeah destiny yeah helpers. destiny helpers you know yes, really. uh, for me it was my pastor pastor Chris he will travel wow. with me he will give me a platform and of course recordings and all that and so you know for people that oh there's always that someone that got places in your life to help you yeah to help you. yes and um, when you recognize that is a big and huge thing, it's a wonderful yes. thing. And I'm so glad yes. for destiny helpers like that. I'm so glad. Destiny helpers, indeed. Yes, destiny helpers. And um, what would be your biggest inspiration? What would be your, what, what, would, what would you say is your biggest inspiration? <sighs> what or who? Okay, let's see. What? And then we'll say who. Okay. What is my biggest inspiration? Yes. Um, And it still is to this day. Because I'm humbled by the fact that God will still use me. I'm humbled by that. Uh, To see the manifestation of his presence and how people respond to him, like I do it because I love to see people experience God in new ways. That's right. In new ways. Like, like to walk away to say, I've experienced God in such a new way, like never before. Yeah. Under the sound of my voice, and it was him blows me away each and every time ah, because God never is. manifests the same with me. And, and I'm humbled by it. I'm That's humbled right. by it. That's right. I'm humbled by it. My biggest inspiration would be my mother. She was the reason I actually started singing. Like I said before, I was shy by nature. I was the quiet. It's seven. I have said it's six, uh, seven of us. I have six other siblings, and I was shy. And I was the quiet one. I wouldn't speak. I wouldn't do anything. And she helped nurture that gift, and she pushed me out there to sing to overcome that fear. Mm-hmm. And so she, she's my biggest inspiration behind that because has she not done that <laughs> that's the destiny helper as well you know yeah, and i'm grateful is. for that it is and it was yeah it was a struggle Mom, to mother's a sing. special yeah mother is special that's yeah. very special that's very special yeah. and um um you know i i just you put up a picture of your mom just a few days ago and i saw it and you say happy birthday on the other side I think was it a happy birthday or Mother's Day wish you were wishing her? I think it was. It something. was. Uh, it was happy birthday. Yes, I saw it, and uh, that warmed my heart so much. You know. Yeah. And everything it warmed my heart a lot. <laughs> That's beautiful. So um, uh, we have a long a lot of a lot of young people that listen to us when we tour, when we put out our records. And all that. And some of them just want to be, do the things that we do. They want to be who, you know, they have a passion for the Lord and they don't know how to go about it. They don't know how to start. What, what would you say to someone like that? What would you say? I would say if this is something that the Lord has called you to do, mm-hmm. uh, we spoke about it earlier about mentors, align yourself with people who are where you want to be. 
Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't Mm -hmm. be afraid to pick their brains to say, hey, because this isn't easy in spite of what you see. (laughs) It's a journey. I promise you, we had to start somewhere. Mm-hmm. So it, it won't happen overnight. But if this is something, get some information about the industry that you're interested in. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Ask yes. questions. If you want to mm-hmm. record and be an engineer, like surround yourself with people who have the answers mm-hmm. that you need. Because it's not an overnight success. It's not. This it's is not. a journey. Mm-hmm. This is a journey yes, and it's yes. full of lessons. It's full of lessons. So if this is something that you aspire to do and God has called you to do, seek wisdom, mm-hmm. ask questions, apply it and do the work. Do the work, do the work. Do the you work. know, a lot of people, a lot of people see uh, the, the traveling, the awards, <laughs> The, the glamour and they don't see they don't see the times when you wake up at uh, a 5 a.m to catch a, a, a flight and you have to drive through the, to, through the snow you know I was touring Europe at a time and we had to wake up for 4 a.m to take a train to somewhere it was so freezing cold and I was like this is not my country this can only be done because I'm doing it for the Lord Jesus I'm gonna win some souls and I it was so freezing I was like oh my goodness I'm out here but it was adventurous but it's not always there are times that your flight is canceled there are times that you have to push through you are disappointed for some reason and all that you want to talk to people about it because they don't see behind the scene they see the glamour, the, gl- the glory, but they don't see uh, the suffering. They don't, <laughs> they don't see, see, they they don't don't see, see the, the on and off, <laughs> yeah, on and off airplanes, different climates, having mm-hmm. to even be more aware and more conscious of your health mm-hmm. and your immune your system. Health. Because yeah. being on airplane of your health, yeah, being yeah. on airplanes, being in and out of different climates, mm-hmm. having to just it, it's a lot it's mm-hmm. a lot of wear and tear you have to now find more time rest and you are intentional about resting being in one state being in one place then having to get on a plane being out the same day mm-hmm. meeting deadlines it's yeah. work yeah it's, it's work. work and it's it's not pretty <laughs> it's, not, it's not pretty there's We're a place of prayer the and there's a place of work <laughs> You got to work for it. You cannot come late for your appointment. You cannot come late. There's no excuse. You cannot. You have to wake up early. And if you have a family, you have to juggle it. You have to make it work. You got to make it work. You know? Yes, yes, yes. You have to make it work. uh Uh-huh. So people don't see the long hours. They think, whoop, magic wand. You just, now, you can get to wear designer's clothes and all that. You know, sometimes it's not even about, because sometimes the, you know, what I told somebody, I said to the person, you know, the, the, the first thing you have to desire is to impact people for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. That should be your goal. The money cannot be your goal because if the money is your goal, once the money comes, that is the end of the dream. That's right. That is the end of the dream. And God cannot use you for too long. There will not be longevity. But if touching people, reaching souls with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through your giftings, impacting people with the presence of the Lord, with your giftings, the gift that God has given you, if it is your utmost, utmost desire, and that is yeah. what drives you with your, that's the vision that drives you. Then the Lord will give you people. He will give you access to favor. Yes. And that are beyond your imagination. And that's how beyond. it works. That's how it works. If you must have a heart to touch and impact people for the Lord. And many Hallelujah. people don't know that. The thing that your gift, 
And what we do is a means of making money, is a means of being popular. That's what we're driving for. But no, for the Christian, our, our job is to influence people for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And you know what the Bible says? He said, seek you first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added. That scripture is so real. So It is so real. real. It's so, so real. It's I so, say so that real. so much to people. I said, you know, we want the things first. But there's a reason why it said, seek him first. Yeah. And sometimes we want to jump beyond that and mm-hmm. have the things it's all got god no we don't put god on the back burner he's first he's a jealous god his name alone is jealous <laughs> when we prioritize mm-hmm. when we prioritize god in the things of the kingdom mm-hmm. he'll add everything else and and he becomes our inheritance that's right he's our inheritance mm-hmm. you know um so I always tell people, y'all want the glam and the, and the Gucci and the Louis Vuitton and, and all of these things. No, seek ye first because those things will fade away. You know, when you, when you don't pursue things, you pursue the kingdom and the heart mm. of the Lord. Do you know those things that pursue you? Mm. you you'll be wondering, why, do, why are those things coming? Because you are after the heart the heart of the Lord. Even if you don't get things mm. pursuing you, your desire, your uttermost. My, for me, my joy is to always see people enjoy the presence of the Lord. That I'm able to help them to yes. stir up their stir up their faith and to stir up their hearts to receive yes. from the Lord and to also be inspired to another level. That's such yes, a yes, joy. Yes. That's such, such a joy. A joy. That's such a joy for me, you know. Ooh. And yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ooh. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's amazing. Ooh. You know. Um, what would be your favorite thing to do? What's your favorite thing like? <laughs> My favorite thing. What's your favorite thing? I'm still trying to discover that, but. I do find cooking therapeutic. Whoa. (laughs) It is therapeutic for me. Like I love looking up different recipes and adding my own little thing to it because I don't know Mm -hmm. how to cook just for me because I come from a huge family. Okay. And so I'll cook a whole dinner and tell my friends, hey, come and get this food I cook. Because I enjoy, it's just therapeutic and it's awesome. And I've also invested in de-stressing yeah, and doing activities that, you know, have a spa day. You owe it to yourself, like just to relax and mm-hmm. just get away from the noise That's and right. just be. And so mm-hmm. those are the main two things that I actually do. Like when I'm home, I rest, but I'll cook, I'll read, I'll study, sometimes write when I'm inspired to, but mm-hmm. I'll cook and I'll, I'll just, you know, and the weather's getting nicer over here as well. We're coming out of winter and the spring. So it's like, ooh, I get, I love all <laughs> things nature. Yeah. And I'll go and I'll, I love nature. So it's, it's time for me to do that again as well. So like too. those are the things that I commit to. To just that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It just keeps me me happy. (laughs) Beautiful. (laughs) That's beautiful. You know, um, um, the what what uh, the things that are happening in the world now. It shows that the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is so near. It is so near, and our job as people on the forefront. And Mm -hmm. as the church is to prepare the people's heart for the coming of the Lord, is to prepare their hearts, is to tell them, wait, wait, we know that the partying is going on, whatever is happening is happening. Are you really ready for the Lord? Are you really ready? And um, um, what, what would you say to 
every young creative outside out here and uh, how how do we how can we announce can we really announce it <laughs> enough you know we can't announce oh. it enough. you know every day should be a preparation every day should be a preparation what would you say mm-hmm. that we we can do more as uh, musicians as gospel artists what would you say that the gospel artists could do more to announce the people to prepare their hearts you know to prepare their hearts well whew, several things come to mind um the only sermon that I recall John the Baptist preaching was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. That's right. Um, I feel uh, that we haven't sung enough about it. We haven't sang enough songs about heaven and the prepared place for us. Um, and I will say to them that, yes, it's time to prepare, even if you have it before, to start now. We're looking at the chain of events that's happening in the world. Incredible. And it's Incredible. living out the scripture. That's it's, right. It's, it is. And if anything, repent posture your heart and start living as if heaven is your home. It's a real place Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because these earthly possessions, they aren't going. (laughs) These things that we fight over Mm -hmm. will be left behind. Mm -hmm. And it's a real place. It's a real place that we're in right That's now. Right. So and it's right. and we have to take it seriously. Mm-hmm. We have to. So I would tell them, repent, get to know him, and start living mm-hmm. and preparing. Mm-hmm. That is so true. That is yeah. so true. That is so true. I would like uh-huh. to hear more songs about it. Yes, yes. What do you think? I would. I, yeah, yeah you, we need to write more about it. We need to yeah, talk about we it. We need to about sing it. about it. Yeah. Yes, yes. I think that yes. should be our contribution as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. I totally agree with you. I totally yeah. agree with you. Um, it's it's amazing talking with you. But I want to know what what's your we we are following you. We are supporting you. We're cheering you from all the way from Africa and. Oh yes, we cannot. We're looking forward to having you in Africa, in, in this side of Africa, Nigeria, very oh. soon, very soon, <laughs> very soon. And I, I, I want you to what? <laughs> what are we looking forward to? Like in the next uh, a few years, what are we looking forward to? My mother passed away on March nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. And um, I did not grieve her immediately. I was just, you know, I was working, working, working. And I finally grieved her months later. Wow. And what was, what was birthed from that was an album. I started to just write, started to just write, 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 write. And I am 90% done with Whoa. that album. <laughs> I actually did a live recording last year before the world shut down for the pandemic. I actually did a live recording. So was I that the saw... one in Canada? Was that the one in yes. Canada? I yes. saw a little bit of it and I was it, I was blown away. It was amazing. <laughs> so yes, I'm 90% great. done with that album. And I'm so excited to... Um, I can't wait for everyone to hear it because I believe hmm. that it's going to really uh, bring forth, you know, healing to those that especially that have grieved and don't know how, you know, to, to, to keep moving. And yeah. so I'm, I'm excited. 
I'm excited about that. I'm excited too. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I saw a little bit of it because I was following you in Canada. I said, oh, I should have been in Canada. I should have attended this concert. <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll do it right. We'll do it right. I, we need to yes. get together. We need to get together. and Indeed. Indeed. Oh, yes, we need to. And um, I, was, I was like, oh, my goodness. And, you know, how does she do this? Her voice. You know, the co- command, the anointing in such a huge way. And uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh my God. And uh, I know that everyone that listens to it will find, uh, will be blessed. So I'm confident of that. I'm confident of that. I want to thank you for coming on this. Um, I've, I've learned a lot from you. I always learn a lot from people. People don't know because everyone mm. I am meet. I try to see, Lord, what can I learn from this person? What wow. can I learn from the person? And uh, I've learned a lot just watching you and seeing the grace of God upon your life and um, uh, how you graciously carried with so much humility as well. So much humility. And I want to thank you again. So uh, before, before we go, I want you to pray for every young woman, every young man that is, you know, listening and uh, has been, whose relationship with God is uh, shaky or who have, they have, or someone who has doubt in, has a doubt in his heart or in her heart. And I want you to pray for them. I want you to bless them. I want you to pray for them. You know, I want you to just, everyone that is watching you just speak the word of God into their lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. God, we bless you. And Thank to you. each and every person, each and every young person who Amen. may not know him, who may be struggling with your beliefs. Amen. I want you to know that Jesus lives today and Hallelujah. that he loves you with an everlasting love, that his love, And his greatness is unsearchable. He is great. He is amazing. He is wonderful. And my prayer for you is that from this day forward, that you will experience his greatness, that you will experience his agape love like never before. God, we bless you. God, we thank you for those who have ears. Let them hear what your spirit is saying to them and what it is saying to the churches right now, Lord God. I thank you for the manifestation and overflow of love. Amen. Love, love, love. Let them yes. feel your love like yes. never before. Embrace yes. them. Wrap your yes. arms around them in the name yes. of Jesus. Amen. Let it be demonstrated in their Amen. lives, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless thank you and we Lord. thank, thank you. you. Hallelujah. Jesus. That they will believe even, even more. That they will Amen. trust you even more. Amen. That you will Amen. be their refuge. That, that, that's, yes. that's their first response for you Amen. to be their refuge. Thank Amen. you for being their light. Thank, thank you for you. being their sufficiency. Thank, thank, thank you for being their confident assurance. Thank you, thank Lord. You. Lord God, that even in this, they will be able to prevail, that they will look to you, Father, that your strength is made perfect in their weakness. Let them know, hallelujah, that they need you, Lord God, that they can't get along without you, that they can't make it without you. are strong. You're stronger than any enemy. You're stronger than any illness. You're stronger Mm -hmm. than any sickness. We thank you, Lord God, that you shrunk the enemy. We thank you that you are the King of Kings. We thank you that you are the Lord of Lords and we thank you for manifestation and demonstration in their lives. Yes. Let them experience your truth. Let them experience your love. Let them experience your grace. Let them experience your favor in the name of Jesus and surround them with a community of people that love you. Let it be demonstration in the name of Jesus. We thank you for demonstration and manifestation in Jesus name. Amen. 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 I want to thank you. I want to thank you so much. I want to thank you. Amen. Thank you. And for everyone that has been listening, this is uh, Minister Miranda Cardis. 
and she's been um, a huge blessing to me. And she's, um, uh, I featured her in one of the songs, Prevail, that is available to you. And I want you to go ahead and listen to it. And uh, please let her know how she has been a blessing to you and encourage her. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you so much. I love and, you too. Um, Thank you for being a blessing to all of us. God bless you. Glory to God. God, God bless, bless you. you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>